And the idea of showing you this is, uh, of course, I'm a supporter of uh, anti-nuclear war. And uh, do, I have been to Hiroshima many times. I photographed and I worked for the Japanese government and tried to promote uh, through photography and philanthropic efforts to be able to help uh, in that area. But it, it is something that you have to understand that is uh, very, very important. And uh, a little bit on Chernobyl, though it's in your country, but from a foreigner perspective, uh, it was quite devastating mm -hmm. to see what happened within the buildings and to see how, how people got affected, schools, children, and other things. A lot has been told in your country and in India, but once you visit it yourself, and you see it, it has a completely different meaning than what you see it on television, you know. And when you visit any such disaster unit as a journalist, uh, which I had many times in Africa and some other parts of the world, uh, you do come across situations which your eye can see and your mind can understand. But many times in journalism, uh, you can only capture things that the eye sees. But it's only when you're on the site that your mind understands really what your eye sees more effectively than just being there on your own. Morning, Hiroshima, Japan. Today is a special day. This old woman is making her weary way to see her son. He disappeared the morning the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. He was a middle school student. Since then, on the 6th of every month for 45 years, she has been offering prayers for him. Her prayers are one with those of other Hiroshima mothers who experienced the city's nuclear nightmare. It was 8.15. Hiroshima had turned into a huge cemetery for over 100,000 corpses. Wounded and sick, seeking help in the hospitals among the ruins. Burns did not heal and began to change into grotesque keloid scars. It was not a burn or a blast injury, but radiation. What could it do to the human body? trembling, fragile life. The blast uh, destroyed the, the, all the buildings within the radius of two kilometers uh, centering the uh, Hiroshima city. And the heat ray reached uh, to the ground and the fire co or was caused. And uh, the city was burned uh, and uh, people were burned within the radius of two kilometers. Uh, of course, uh, if, if they, uh, they were standing or they were uh, very close to, to the, uh, the hypocenter or epicenter of the explosion, uh, they instantly died. Or uh, if they were, uh, their body, bodies were exposed to the radiation, um, it affected their uh, blood and, and organs and uh, within uh, uh, so a few days they, they died or like my, my grandmother uh, she was uh, she was in the house uh, it, uh, she was about one and a half kilometers away from the hypocenter and she was exposed to the radiation and uh, because of that she got leukemia a blood disease and then one month later she died so uh, in many ways, uh, if they were affected by the, the radiation, uh, they either soon died or uh, later they, they died.